my mechanism for eel to be jumping out. This is the first part of it. Um, it will have a slide up here, a drawer that the on heavy duty slides that the eel will actually sit on. And then back here will be the pneumatic cylinders. Um, I've got a couple of them. I'm hoping that one of them will be strong enough to do it, but if not, I'll be using two of them. So, next step is to build the drawer for the front end here. All right, use my chop saw. I've got all of my pieces cut from my drawer. And there it is, held together by a couple corner clamps. I'm just assembling it with some three inch drywall screws. Hold it all together. And the next thing, we'll be installing the heavy duty drawer glides. All right, now I've got the next step completed. Added the drawer slides to the front and I've got that installed and running smoothly. So that's exactly what the eel is going to be sitting on right there. It'll come out about 16, 17 inches and then the pneumatic cylinders are going to be connected back here. That's the next step. Alright, in order to test this, I've temporarily put one of the cylinders on here. And as you can see, it's doing the job quite nicely. So I think we'll just stick with one cylinder, which is really going to work out well. Since uh, this isn't going to be hooked up to a compressor, it's uh, going to be hooked up to an air tank. And uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, one filling of the tank will get me through the entire evening. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have a uh, 110 solenoid here and have it triggered off of a wireless push button. But for today, that uh, solenoid's on its way. It's been ordered, but uh, I'm using a 12-volt solenoid here, and this is the setup I'd use if I was going to have this triggered by PIR. I'm using a little power board, a pickaxe 18x board, and I would just connect a PIR onto the left hand side, change the programming a little bit, and then this would be automated chip, which likes to have under 5 volts. And then I've got a 12 volt wall wart right there that uh, is what's needed to power that 12 volt solenoid. And then there's the air can that I will be using to uh, run this instead of running it off uh, one of the compressors. So now, uh, I'll be using a 110 solenoid because this particular prop is going to be located in a position where uh, it's going to be close to my party guests, and I want to make sure that it doesn't get triggered off um, with anybody standing close by. I don't want it to hit somebody or to break the prop, so um, that's why I'll be switching to the 110 and a manual trigger instead of using a animated uh, triggered prop like a PIR or a motion detector or mat switch or something. So I'll tear this down, reinstall that pneumatic tube where it belongs, and proceed on to the next step. Installed in the back, the bracing is put onto the corners, bolted in a lot of the pieces, even the drawer slides, instead of just the little screws that were on there, I threw bolted th them on there. So I just have to uh, figure out how to mount the eel onto it now, and it'll be finished. So that'll be the next step. I'm running this about 30 pounds of uh, pressure on the compressor, and uh, it's doing it just fine. All right, he's been completed got him attached to the mechanism now. As you can see, the eel came from Bobzilla with a one inch PVC pipe coming out the back end. So I've just got that tied in to the drawer slide and uh, got it attached right there with a screw. Turn this off so that yeah, I can remove it and store it away. Give you a close-up look here. There's the front end of the pneumatic cylinder. I've got it tied into a metal plate on the back of the drawer and then 
drilled out a bit for the end of the rod to embed into that 2x4 there. A metal brace on the nose mount and then did the same thing here at the back end of the cylinder. Uh, attached it to a metal plate, uh, through bolted it onto the back end of the mechanism and drilled out the wood a little bit to allow for that nut to be hidden back inside that 2x4. Turn it back on. Get a shot of it. So here's that eel from Bobzilla. If you haven't checked out his stuff, make sure to. He's painted with black light paint. He really pops under the black light. Uh, when I get the black lights set up, I'll make sure to post a picture of him under the black light. Check out Bob's stuff. If you have any questions about how I did this, post a comment down below. I'll try and answer it. Again, that's just a three-quarter inch, 17-inch throw pneumatic cylinder there.